Whoop. What's up, Drawfers? What's up, Drawfers? Who's ready to draw? Ah! Yeah! That's me getting my own energy up. Getting my own hype up. <laughs> Basically, the second I woke up, I could have gone back to sleep. Is where I am. It is today. one of those days. It yeah. also, like, because we record before these streams and then take a break and then get on stream, it stormed the entire time we recorded and then yep. the sun came out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The second so we finished recording. It's got, there's a sweaty mood. Yeah, yeah. One of those, it's one of those weird ones today where the weather turns you into a crazy person. Yeah, <laughs> truly. Also, Streamlabs keeps telling me that I'm dropping frames, and I don't know why. So if if frames are dropping, then we best be stopping, because I don't I don't know what to do about it. I'm not uploading. Also, yeah, he caught it early. He's so smart. Nathan ain't here. Nathan yeah. ain't here. He's gone again. And I'm gonna tweet. <gasps> Julie oh is gonna tweet. Finally, a normal tweet. A normal yeah, tweet. I don't think anyone likes the normal tweets, though. They love the crowdsource tweets. They love. They always perform so well. <laughs> well, I mean, I think they only are appreciated because they're so rare and beautiful. Yeah. Tweet together with co-tweets. No thanks. Oh, let's co-tweet. Oh, yeah. Can you co-tweet with me and Karina? <clears throat> Well, I don't think I have that feature yet because Spencer was trying to get me to use that feature and it won't let me accept his invitation to co-tweet. What the heck? It just tells me like, oh, he tweeted. They're like... And then I click, they're like, accept or deny. And then I click it and it just shows me the tweet. And I'm very sad. <laughs> they're like, Karina doesn't need to co-tweet. It's better if she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> they're like oh shit she's trying to tweet more <laughs> she doesn't need to do that what I if this mug would. has legs wow where's it going <laughs> maybe it's doing a little jig july 25th Nothing wrong. Oh, yeah. Look who knows the date. <laughs> nice. Official date knower has logged on. <laughs> We're going to get ourselves a dancing mug. Oh, this is cute. But yeah, we can't. We simply can't keep crowdsourcing tweets because I'm running out of gifts. I don't actually have that many saved, so I need to start saving new gifts next time. <laughs> yeah, please get some more. Yeah, it's very important. It's gonna be a sort of a smirky little guy. Hmm. Aww. Look at my dance. Do you like I it? Like it. Got some little. Stubble, maybe. Are you on that zero? I'm also using zero. I'm on the zero. I, I really like I, the zero. Yeah, oh God, it's got it's a good felt. feel. It's I been really it's what? been really appealing to me lately. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Drawfee. Drawfee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> what if I Got did, a a, did a drawing? Ha <laughs> ha, what if you drew, ha <laughs> ha? JK, unless. <gasps> I tweeted. Julia I tweeted. <laughs> tweet. <laughs> she it's tweeted. Kind of draw some. Nightmare stuff. Okay, well now we have to draw nightmare stuff. No. Someone said nightmare <laughs> stuff? No, Julia tweeted it. Oh. Okay, someone said to draw Marina from Mischief Makers, and that's a deep pull. That and is I'm, a deep pull. I'm gonna do that. Mischief Makers is a Nintendo 64 game. 
that I loved. I'm going to show oh, wow. you. This is retro. I'm yeah, going to show is. the cover. I'm going to paste the cover on here so people can see. Oh, we're going to make it bigger. Proportions are wild. <laughs> Truly. Mischief Makers. Did anybody play this game? <laughs> I did not. I saw it at Blockbuster constantly. I did, and I didn't have a Nintendo 64. This game was so fun and weird. It looks wild. And I'm going to draw Marina, the main character from Mischief Makers. What kind of gameplay was it? Yeah. Like a Mega Man? No. Like a Bomberman? <laughs> no. You you're, could just you're... explain it. <laughs> I'm, like a I'm... Mario 64? Uh, my god. Are you just going to keep guessing? It doesn't play like any other game. So like any game you say eye? will be wrong. A Bloodborne? Like a, a <laughs> Mario Kart? <laughs> Is this Mario Kart? Is this Mario Kart? Is this Little Nemo? Is this Pac-Man? <laughs> Jacob, what does it play like? <laughs> We're done. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Jacob's gonna leave me. <laughs> Hello, we're done. Can you explain the game to us now? <laughs> so it plays like the the primary um, sort of method of playing that you do is is grabbing and throwing things. It's two D, mm -hmm. and so you grab enemies and throw them, or you like grab objects and sort of throw yourself. So like a Mario, Super Mario 2. Um, kind of, but it was really like, oh my god, that was all of the gameplay. So it's like really fast paced cool. and throwing oriented. There was there wasn't like you know jumping puzzles the same yeah, way like yeah, a Mario yeah. would have. It was always like throwing and shaking. And every time she shakes, <laughs> she would go shake, 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 shake. Aw, the faces on shit. these objects are just so sad. Yeah, uh -oh. the objects did have a lot of sad faces on them. Interesting. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's a bizarre game, but it was really fun and really cool. And uh, that's all. I'm, that's all I have to say about it. I'm gonna put a GIF of Mischief Makers oh, under wow. the tweet. Under the tweet. <laughs> under the tweet. All right. Oh, these like haunting faces. Yeah. Yeah, they're a bit spooky. Yeah, all the objects kind of have faces for some reason. They look like gyroids. They are very gyroid-esque. Are they kind of uh, referencing the same thing? Uh, that's entirely called. possible. I don't know. Don't wow. Know the answer to that. Wow. Very astute observation, Karina. Thank you, Jacob. Uh -huh. Oh, there was a bird at the window. All of went yeah. to go hunt it. Aw. A bird at the window? At I our know. window? I know. Are they crazy? <laughs> what are you doing out there? We have cats. She wears this little hat thing. Yeah. I've never seen this one. I didn't play a lot of Nintendo 64 because I would always play it at other, like at family members' houses, but I remember being really into snowboard kids. Oh, I love snowboard kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. My brother and I would just play that at my cousin's place, like until we broke our thumbs. <laughs> Shit messed you up. <laughs> yeah, it really did. It was great, though. Yeah. Okay, then she's got like like a armor sort of situation going on. Yeah. Oh wait, I did not play Snowboard Kids. I played the other snowboard game that was on like PS1 maybe. You think you have like SSX? You can't say that on stream. You thinking of yes. sex sex sex? <laughs> SSX tricky. <laughs> Yeah, Snowboard Kids was pretty different from that. Yeah. Yeah, there was the kid with the big nose. Yeah. yeah. And then the gone hair. Oh, I guess they all had big nose. Yeah, there was big... a dog in this game? <gasps> you could unlock like a dog and like a penguin. Yeah, Mr. Dog and Koo 
Ouch! I never met them. Mr. Dog, what a name. <laughs> Did you say cooch? Coach. Coach. <laughs> Sorry. Did I say it weird? <laughs> cooch. <laughs> Hello, oh. Cooch. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's not a character named Cooch <laughs> in Snowboard Kids. I mean, would that be so weird? The main guy is named um, Slash Kame. Yeah. And Nancy Neal. Jam. Um, I'm not... A Kunamund? I can't yeah, read. Two out of the three women are in bras. In snowboard kids? Yeah. You got Nicole Couch, who's wearing. <laughs> Nicole Couch. She's Wait, wearing where's... just a, a big old bra. Yeah, she <laughs> is. I love their big noses, though. And then yeah. Linda Maltini. Don't worry. They're all kids. They're snowboard, snowboard kids. Snowboard kids. She's 11. Well, the thing I'm looking at. Oh, you must be looking at snowboard kids, too. I'm looking at snowboard kids one where they're still 10. Oh, I'm yeah. looking at the snowboard kids wiki. Oh. Nancy Neal. Let's see what your deal is. Nancy. What's your Neal? You're 10. Nancy Neal is 10. <laughs> Her rival on the slopes is Jam. She has no enemies throughout the game. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Makes She's one of just us. Really well liked. <laughs> Good for her, Nancy. No enemies. Oh, to be a person with no enemies. Can you imagine? I love this sentence in this wiki. During the end credits, spoilers, Nancy <laughs> comes to mediate. When Slash steals Tommy's hamburger, making him cry. Slash, paying no heed, is immediately chased by the angered Nancy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, get his ass. Get his ass. That, all that means something to me, those words. You can play a little <laughs> vampire named Damien. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like Damien. His tricks are poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's got no swag <laughs> yeah but he's got a heart of gold oh his outfit's cute and he looks exactly like a guy named Damien like you'd expect him to <laughs> yeah All he's right. got the Vegeta hairline time to show everyone snowboard kids are you gonna draw snowboard kids maybe I'll draw some snowboard <gasps> kids you gotta imagine Please. this character in snowboard kids shake shake <laughs> That's her trick. She would have, yeah, high points and tricks. God, oh my the... god, Damien has a small crush on Nancy Neal. Pathetic. Cute. <laughs> These are the tiniest images that have ever existed. Yeah, it's an old game, dude. We should have access to high res images of the snowboard kids. I want to see them. I want closer. to see them closer. This is the best Please. I can find. God, it is so small. Yeah. I don't. I feel, I feel like you could. Whatever. Yeah, and the little snowman. You can make people turn to snowman. Yeah, Jack it was kind of like Mario Kart adjacent. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to draw the main snowboard kid. Jam or sl which one is he? Jam or Slash? I think uh, he's Jam. He's Jam, right? <laughs> Wait, Slash, Slash. The nose situation is truly <laughs> insane. May I just say? It was a choice, but you know what? Interesting choice, unique choice, so memorable. Yeah, totally. But I was just looking at how they the nose goes like lower than the chin and it's so tall that it obscures your vision <laughs> as well. It's okay. He's a cartoon character. Think about this realistically, Karina. No, I can't. You can. <laughs> I know you can do it. We'll draw a little slash. I thought he was Jam. Who's Jam? Jam's his best friend who has like the traffic cone nose. Oh. 
There you go. Two nose types. There are two nose types. It's either very pointy or very round. And they got yeah. the eyebrows that don't obey. <laughs> they can't be tamed. They can't be tamed. Got to get the mouth down here. The nose obscures most of the mouth. <laughs> nose scale off the charts. Yeah, the nose scale <laughs> on this one. Not standard. Not standard at all. And then he's got this like headband thing going on. It's like a rope. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need to control your anime hair. Nothing else will do the job. Where's my capsule? <laughs> oh my God. Yes, Julia. There was an SBK snowboard kids. And the updated looks, he looks like someone out of Digimon, but I couldn't tell you who. Wait, because I don't know anything about Digimon. Oh, this sucks. Yeah. Let me SPK look. Oh, what the fuck? They he just looks turned like him into. He it, looks like Ty. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. They Why just turned they... him into normal looking yeah. animes. He's... Where's their noses? Where's their they noses? Don't want this. They went from like Ooh. a million nose to zero nose. <laughs> the slider. <laughs> yeah. The slider is outrageous on this one. The hair is so big. Well, there's a snowboards kids plus that the cover art is really cute. The blonde girls tatas are way out though. That's what I was saying. <laughs> well, they're like extra out in this cover. <laughs> well, you know, when you turn 11, <laughs> a lot of changes. Yeah, gotta. Uh. <laughs> I'm reading about this character named Brad. Brad. Oh, Brad. Brad Maltini. What, what nose shape? No, this is the boring one. Why are you bothering with that? I know. Because I'm like so curious about how boring they are. I'm like fascinated. So is the blue kid that looks like Ty from Digimon, is that supposed to be one of the OG snowboard kids? That's I think it's the, the main OG kid. Snowboard kid. That's Slash? Yeah. Yeah. Why? This is stupid. They like totally ruined his whole look. And and then is the blonde one in the purple suit supposed to be the one that usually has her tatas out? Hold on, I'm looking. Linda? Linda. Linda. Linda, <laughs> Linda is not a name for, for youth. That's a name you're given when you're older. Yeah. Oh, no, Linda's the other one. Hold on. What happened to, oh, Nicole Couch. That's what it was. Nicole Couch. <laughs> Her, her win quote is, I'm the winner. That's a good one. <laughs> she has so much personality. Cool it, girl. Yeah, she's got to <laughs> relax. She's I mean, taking all the personality. Yeah, you're sucking it all out of the room. That's uh. called honesty, sweetie. <laughs> if you're the winner, you deserve to let people know that you're the winner. What? Yeah. To top this off, to she, top. meaning uh -huh. the main Nicole Couch, even dares her rival to snort spaghetti through her nose if she loses. Nicole, what people that? die that oh. way. <laughs> that goes immediately to your brain. We all know that. And then you become Italian. <laughs> you become Italian. That's how Italian people are made. <laughs> spaghetti. The Italian parasite. Spaghetti to the <laughs> nose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need to know what she looks like. We yeah. regret to inform you the spaghetti has already moved to the brain. <laughs> no. There's nothing we can do. They, they pan to the bed. Mamma mia. <laughs> I, will, I will say there are like... Um, I guess windscreens for each character and they are a lot cuter than the art that's literally everywhere else in the 
Google search. They got lots of personalities, very cute. Man, I haven't <laughs> thought about snowboard kids in so long. I'm always thinking about snowboard I kids. I really played the heck out of this game. Why is Jack Frost in this game? Mm. I thought I... he was from Persomba. Or not Persomba, Shimadani Shinsei. Shim Jim Tensei. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Shimmy Shimmy Jimmy Tensei. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shimmy Jimmy's game. I'm Shimmy done Jimmy drawing. Tensei. Oh, that's great, Jacob. Thank you. I'm Julia, gonna... do you want to go or should I? Oh, Aww. yeah, I can go. Oh, put him over there and then put yeah, her. No, not you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Aww. I, Tommy I did this all on the same layer. This is a nightmare. Atlas made the snowboard kids game. Okay. <laughs> but they did the anime version. Okay. <laughs> we must we must shrink. It's the only way. And then we gotta get rid of this. No. Look at me now. Wow. Cowards. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Two characters drawn. Yeah, so powerful. I'm done. <laughs> Get that shit out of there. Get in here, Julia. And we're coming. Todd from Mario, but goofy. How? Careful what you wish for, sweaty. It might come true. Not with me, it won't. What should Julia draw? <laughs> I don't think there Frost? was someone else here to do it. No. Nah. Jack Frost from Persona? Jack Frost from Persona, isn't he like... <laughs> this is... <laughs> this, this is, is a... the snowman from Mario. Yeah. No, this is the snowman from Skateboard Kids. <laughs> Skateboard Kids? They're snowboard kids. <laughs> 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 that was the most nonsensical <laughs> tangent. Good work, team. Anyway. <laughs> what is, it's the same thing, just on a different surface. Jack Frost has like the jester's hat. Yeah. He looks like a little gremlin. Oh yeah, the Kirby. That's what I was drawing. I was drawing a little Kirby snowman. Thank you. Mm. What should Julia draw? skate character as the <gasps> snowboard kids that would be so cute that's, that's for karina i'll do yeah, that, that if that's karina <laughs> i don't want to see that i don't know them well enough <laughs> at all i do have an image search up for you to use what <laughs> turn <of> <laughs> skate for kids <laughs> What was the skate for kids tagline? Um, they took. <laughs> was it they took his wife? They took his wife, so he their takes life. their life. <laughs> I'm just a big fan of skate for kids. <laughs> Someone said gunslinger granny. Ooh, and I'd love. Granny. I'd love just an old woman. That's you heard like... it here first. <laughs> here I love old Julia women. loves just an old woman. Hell yeah, live your truth. You show Julia an old woman, she's like, yes, <laughs> yes. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> she's just losing it. <laughs> she's just on the floor, frothing and growling. Howling and barking. <laughs> <laughs> I like this face you've started with. <laughs> oh, very cute. Uh, oh, very cute. I've never <laughs> drawn either of my grandmothers, is what I realized every time I draw a old person, old lady. Whose grandmother are you drawing? <clears throat> I think the way that I think of old women is uh, Muriel from Courage. That's very fair. Good choice. I typically avoid depicting members of my family because I can't 
remember faces well, and I'm afraid I will insult them <laughs> by doing it badly. <laughs> well, I don't really draw my grandma. I just always draw old women with the bun that she has. So I'm taking elements from her. Yeah, essence. Yeah, essence of, of grandma. Oh, she got little glasses on? Big yeah. glasses on. <clears throat> Big glasses. You need them to see the target. The target. <laughs> Haunted by that TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> How can we have people see that? Um, I just, cause I just look up Drawfee on TikTok from time to time to see what people are posting. Cause people post cute stuff and tag it with Drawfee, but someone posted their impression of me and it's like unfairly good. It's uncanny. <laughs> I don't know how to find it though, to, to like link it. To I think chat. they, I mean, I think they have it under hashtag Drawfee, but I did send it to all my friends and they all laughed at me. <laughs> I'm gonna look it's at the really um, good. the name of <laughs> the name of the account, and then one of the mods can find it. If the mods haven't already, I mean, Quentin Cornell on TikTok <laughs> does an impression of Karina. <laughs> it made me cry and it scared my friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's more Karina than Karina yeah. herself. It's like hyper Karina. <laughs> I just like that I sent it to my group chat with my friends and they were just like, which one do I shoot? <laughs> oh, I'm just going to send the link to the mods. Oh my God. He's a genius. We don't, we can Whoa. avoid the guesswork here. Yeah, they said, which one do I shoot? Screaming, how does it feel to be read to filth? And then I replied, I felt worse, clown emoji. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> All right, Jamie has posted the link. <laughs> if you leave a comment, make sure it's nice. Yes, this is funny and we approve of it. I love it. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> But yeah, Jamie has linked it. It's the highlighted <laughs> message there in the chat. So, mm -hmm. Julia, I love this drawing. <laughs> it felt like such a classic, Whoa. like a classic drawfee suggestion. Yeah. And you you really put so much charm into it. <laughs> the chat's losing it over the TikTok. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's unfairly good. <laughs> now the rest of us have to wait until someone does one of us. I don't yeah. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> I can't handle that. I can't handle being read that well. I just don't. I want to know what it would sound like if someone did a Jacob and like, what do I sound like to other people? It, it is very fun to hear. Because I can't even guess. I sent I sent that to Lauren as well, and she said he could literally be you for Snatch Game on RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> 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 I really like the casual nature of pointing this gun at, at the viewer. <laughs> Make one wrong move. I am no longer asking. <laughs> I'm no longer asking for my jello. <laughs> 
The video is unsettling. <laughs> it is <How> you weird. <laughs> so I was like, I was listening to Karina, but not Karina. <laughs> it's, it's it's so on point. <laughs> The prompt for this was Granny Gunslinger. Gunslinger yeah. Granny? Yeah, something like that. Gunslinger Granny. It does look like the gun is also a cane. It is. Ooh, I feel like you're going to get some dirt smart. in your barrel. Maybe she has a little cap. She takes off. This is when she shows up at the restaurant five minutes late for the senior citizens discount. <laughs> I'm taking it anyway. <laughs> Why don't you check the clock one more time? <laughs> it's always at noon. <laughs> Karina speaks so we can compare. Is that what you do on TikTok? Should I duet it and <laughs> just say the same thing? The same thing. thing. <laughs> I'm too shy to interact with people on TikTok. It like freaks me out. <laughs> that would be amazing though. <laughs> the only, cause I only use the Drawfee account, but the only time I've interacted with like a person is, well, one, when Hank Green used our audio, <laughs> cause that was very funny. And two, one of my friends, like, had a viral TikTok about sports mascots and people kept tagging Drawfee in it. So uh, they messaged it to me and were like, LOL, people are tagging you in my TikTok. And I just, <laughs> so they replied to one of the comments saying, hi, Karina. So I just replied as Drawfee. <laughs> hi, Dash. <laughs> <laughs> yet yeah, it is funny how it's like, we're very comfortable going on live stream in front of thousands of people or recording videos for hundreds of thousands of people. But it's like interact with someone on TikTok. That's no, personal. I'm shy. That's you personal. Know, yeah. Interacting with someone on like even just filming like the last TikTok I posted to the account, which was just like, ah, shit, we forgot to announce the merch on. Uh, so I made a TikTok while I was cleaning my old apartment. <laughs> Even that I was like, oh, if I like, <laughs> I'm like having like hella heat exhaustion. So I'm just gonna do this while I can't think and be nervous about it. <laughs> you had to do it then, it was the only time. Yeah. Yeah, any other time it wouldn't have happened. We did get recognized. Jacob and I uh, got <gasps> recognized this weekend Ooh. by someone who was just, again, super nice and polite about it. They just That's, like yay. did the longest step to get like noticeably into like our space a little bit, just like, you know, to get our attention. They just did like a really long step and they were like, uh, I just want you guys to know that I really, uh, really like you guys. Aww. <laughs> and they're like, okay, bye. And then they just like took the big step back. Yeah. And then like left. I was like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, they were I super always... nice. And then People I always are forget always how to act. Hella nice. <laughs> yeah, like I get really nervous at the idea of getting recognized, but every time it ha has happened, it's been a nice experience that I smile about. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and nine times out of ten, it's at Kino Kunia. <laughs> Can't fucking go to Kino Kunia without getting recognized. <laughs> I feel like that tracks. Yeah, I'm just like that makes sense. Like, there's certain places where I'm like, yeah, uh, deep down, I was prepared for this. It makes sense. I, I get recognized there, and I got recognized a couple of times while I was waiting in line at the Yu-Gi-Oh like uh hypeland hipland uh, i forget how which way it goes uh pop-up shop last year yeah yeah if there was ever a place you were gonna <laughs> yeah, get recognized just like, nah this tracks <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because at the concert um i had literally just asked jacob what the odds were that we were going to be recognized and jacob was like i don't really think this is the kind of crowd that would recognize you us well, it was a crowd of like mostly incredibly beefy dudes. 
Aww. They were all like six five and enormous and covered in tattoos. And yeah. Everyone was wearing ripped up tank tops. Oh, fun. And I was like, I don't think any of these dudes are droppy fans. That's true. But um, every time we have a nice fan interaction like that afterwards, I'm always like, I didn't do like the the two basic things I should have done, which was one asking for their name. And two, asking if they wanted a photo or something. Oh, yeah. I always forget. I My mind goes blank until they're gone. And then I'm like, <laughs> shit. I should have asked if they wanted a picture or what their, like, you know, username Aww. was or something. Aw. Someone said, come to the Kinokuni in Edgewater. Bruh, I used to live right by there. I was there all the time. Were you not? Did you not see me there? It's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Missed your chance. Mm -hmm. Oh, but yeah, I just, it's really, it, people have always been so nice every time like I've been recognized, but uh, I do get nervous if it happens in front of some of my friends because then they will roast the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> How are they going to roast you? You you look cool in that situation. You become unroastable. <laughs> no, they'll roast me for it. We we went out to brunch last weekend and I was like, "Oh, like let me just get one last headcount so I can make a reservation." And one of my friends was like, "Just tell them who you are." <laughs> <laughs> damn. And I was like, "Damn." can't take you anywhere <laughs> uh i'm done this is cute yeah i love this i tried to channel jacob for this a little bit it's it's even better than what i would have done imagine she's shaking like oh constantly. shaking with rage except for the gun <laughs> which the is gun. very still yeah, the gun is like stone still <laughs> <clears throat> uh, anyway. Should we switch to Karina? Yeah. You have to do the Control Alt Shift H. What? I oh. have to do that to get, the thing, go. to get the thing to go away. Because Zoom is a bad program. <laughs> it's not great, and yet. Yeah, here so, we are. I'm just, I'm just gonna do a uh, skate as snowboard kids. Yes. Because I think that'll be cute. Skateboard kids. And I want to do it. Why is my palette weird? Skateboard kids. Working on a big ass thing before this stream. Yes. It's finally done. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Olive's looking at you like, how dare you? She's a cute little cat. This is what it, we were recording earlier, and I told Karina that the cats have not left Jacob alone since we got home. And look, evidence. <laughs> Caught in 4K. Olive, everyone sees, how, everyone sees how needy you are. Yeah, your favoritism. The end of her tail is just like annoyed, flicking. Aww. You're not petting her. You're not petting the girl. Too cute. I'm looking for pho places. <laughs> oh, we don't yeah. Have to get pho. We can get anything. Well, we got options, though, is the thing. Yeah. But is it going to be good? Huh? Well, it looks like we our normal place closes at 8.30. Oh, my God. So we could probably order, you know, close to then. Just heat up the broth. Well, the stream ends at nine. Yeah. So probably they wouldn't even deliver it before the stream was over. Uh oh, you're gonna influence the vote. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna go on. They do have ears. That's a good point, actually. Do you want to get that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. What if I just set a nine p.m. delivery time? Okay. Is that allowed? Where's my phone? Can I have my phone? What do you need your phone for? Because I order it through the company Seamless. Oh. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Got to charge the company. 
We're working. <laughs> are, are you guys, chat, are you enjoying this <laughs> peek behind the curtains? <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Thank you, Karina. <laughs> Got you. Today, nine. That's right. We expense dinner in this house on stream nights. On stream nights. It counts. It counts. It's a business dinner. Here you go. Uh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. It's because wanna... Olive, Olive makes don't me sneeze it. every time. I don't want to sneeze. Don't do it. I'm not going to do it. I refuse. Don't you dare. Karina, this already is very cute. It's a cute style. I'm never going to sneeze again. <laughs> yeah, you better not. <laughs> or you're fucking dead, dude. No. Then shouldn't Karina get some? Yeah, that's up to Karina. Huh? I think what someone was implying that we were barring you from ordering <laughs> dinner if you wanted. <laughs> I think they probably I bar myself. <laughs> they probably were not that malicious with their intent. No, but I like to, you know, I was going with the bit that like we yeah. don't let Nathan yeah, into we're very, streams. We're very mean to each other, remember, Jacob? Yeah, remember? remember? We have we we are not letting Nathan on this stream. I'm sorry, I don't remember the things that that both of you say most of the time. That's fair. Yeah, typical Typical man. <laughs> it's because I'm a man. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> and you're always That's saying okay. all this like woman stuff. Yeah. And you I, know don't, I don't get it. I don't Jacob's, understand it. Jacob is so silly. <laughs> it's like the the adults and peanuts. Yeah. Whenever we talk to Jacob. <laughs> you know I'm really big on rigid gender roles. Yeah. Huge. You love a gender role. That's important to me. I think everyone should be in their box. That's why I do all there. the cooking. <laughs> exactly. And the Famously. cleaning. And yep. the caretaking. Yep. And I shit my pants on the couch. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Just the way we like it. <laughs> <laughs> because real men don't wipe their ass. Or drink lemonade wasn't that one of the things recently what oh that's right there was like a viral tweet a few weeks ago that was like something about how real men don't drink lemonade but what if life gives you lemons <laughs> you eat them i guess i don't know <laughs> you eat them raw <laughs> <laughs> it was just one of those there's like one every month where someone has a new thing that that men don't do and it's always like the most arbitrary shit. Wow. You know what? Maybe it is hard to be a man. It, it must be if you're that type of man who can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Restricted. You got so like much. six things you can do. And that's it. <laughs> okay, here's that guy. Next. This is really cute, Karina. This is really fun. <laughs> I like this a lot. Are you going to do our blue boy, Longa? Yeah, of course. Is he going to have a pointy nose? Yeah. Yeah. You're reading my mind, dude. Yeah. 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 I don't want to do the whole cast, but I do want to do Joe as like the titties out girl. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, someone said that um, drinking lemonade is a womanly thing to ask for because it's lemon water. Lemon is lemon is for woman. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows that. You should be drinking garlic concentrate, <laughs> minced garlic out of minced, the jar. Yeah, minced garlic. That's juice. a man's drink. <laughs> the, 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 the oil juice. that's in the garlic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got there. <laughs> Ordering dessert, apparently, is a female thing to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoa. Yeah. Men don't like desserts or lemons. Men like to have scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 
my god. <laughs> this kind of looks like a like a little badger or something right now. <laughs> he looks so sweet. He looks very sweet. <laughs> he has like a beak. Yeah, that that's what <laughs> that's what he has. Got a full ass beak. Is that it, Jacob? Is that all you would like? There he is. Yes. Okay. His eyes just really big. Trying to just capture his vacant, <laughs> no, no thoughts, head empty. <laughs> Someone said, is this Phineas and Ferb? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. This is them today. Not far. It's, it's, it's oh my similar God. vibes. What if we give Phineas and Ferb the SBK treatment? <laughs> <laughs> to make them really normy, noseless anime <laughs> characters. Taking away the noses of the snowboard kids is the most cowardly thing I've anyone's ever, ever done. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's disgusting to me. I think that's against the Geneva Convention. They should have done what you're doing right now and committed to the style. He looks so dopey. He looks really dopey. <laughs> Why, he looks like a fucking precious moments child. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, where's my impact font? He looks like one of those pointy toe shoes, dress shoes. But with hair on but it. But with hair on eyes. it. Yeah. yeah. Looks like a Fraggle Rock character. That's also true. True. Like the prettiest boy in Fraggle Rock. <laughs> yeah, he truly is head empty. <laughs> and I love that when he's at his most like powerful, aka his best skating, is when he's just like picturing snow. And that's it. That's like putting your TV on noise and being like, oh, my favorite show. It really helps my thoughts. Recky hands him the ox cable and he puts on white noise. Because <laughs> it sounds like snow falling. Good for him. This is beautiful. What the fuck does he wear? What the fuck? Do you see... The do you see this right next to each other, Jacob? Snowboard Kids 2 right next to SBK. Yeah, and like Snowboard Kids has so like Snowboard Kids 2 has so much energy and character and I like I want to play that and then I see SBK and I'm like mm. <laughs> Is this Digimon with snowboards? It's a snowboarding tactics game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even joke. I would play the shit out of that. <laughs> Even That'd be it, so fun. Why has it not been done yet? Turn-based snowboarding <laughs> tactics game. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, instead oh, of like attack. Game designers. <laughs> attack is like trick. Yeah, you have to like choose which like ramps to hit. Special abilities. Based on your stats. Oh my God. I think we actually did come up with a good game just now. Could it be? Have we done it? <laughs> Did we save gaming? I think we saved gaming. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they dancing around the screen? <laughs> what? I was moving them so I could draw Joe. <laughs> These two centered would be just a very funny graphic tee. <laughs> With the off center, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I want it. I want it. I want it. Okay. Oh, have you been on my lap for so long? Yes. Would Joe have pointy nose or round nose? Important question. I don't remember which one Joe is. He's Big, the strong buff, one. Tits. Green one? Yeah. Green. Oh, okay. Was big buff and tits not enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jonah's character. Round. Okay. Yeah, I think round because Cherry would have pointy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, okay. 
Adam would have a pointy nose because he's a villain. Yeah. Villains have angles. Yeah. Olive just did a bunch of scratching and like a fountain of hair like shot up yeah. into the air in front of my face and now it's just floating Tadashi around. Tadashi would have a round nose because he's a service top. I'm getting a seltzer. Does anyone want anything? Can I have Me? water? <laughs> <laughs> I was debating what I wanted to drink. My glass is right there. Yes, you can have water. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. I was exp I was water. <laughs> I was thinking about my options. <laughs> That's fair. I've been drinking a lot of Gatorade recently because I've been so dehydrated. Nice. Thanks, COVID. COVID has made me simultaneously the thirstiest person on earth and the sleepiest. That's what COVID's done to me. <laughs> Damn. You gotta do the Karina COVID strat. Have you tried drinking no less than 32 or like, God, no, it would have been more than that. Maybe like a gallon of emergency water every day <laughs> for like a week. I have not, no. I actually ran out of vitamins just before I no, left for my trip. So I came no. back and I was just like sleeping and drinking as much Gatorade as I could get my hands on. Yeah, yeah, chat. Bold of you to assume I know any conversions of liquid measurement. <laughs> Who does, though? Yeah, nerds. I bake and I don't know the measurements of anything. <laughs> I have Sorry. to think about every time where they're like half a cup of butter. I'm like, how, how much stick is that? Well, usually butter, they do that now. Yeah, it's like on the label. Thank God, but... yeah, because like I'm not gonna know. <laughs> no. Someone said I finally got COVID like three days ago and I'm suffering. Here's the thing I'm about so the new sorry. COVID, the BA5. You suffer strongly for like two days. It's like day three and four, you feel like absolute garbage trash. And then five, you're just the sleepiest person on planet Earth. And then the rest you just get progressively less sleepy thank you yeah because one of my friends also got whatever's going around right now and it really does sound like such a creature <clears throat> yeah so sorry jacob was like bedridden Aww. for maybe two days right yeah it was like two full days of being in the bed Boink. And then the day after that, I was like surprised at how much better I was, even though I was still bad. But on that first day, it was like a market improvement. <laughs> on that first day when you were bedridden, you got up to like use the bathroom and you were like shaking. I was walking Aww. around like an old man. I was like yeah. hunched over. Ugh. <sighs> It's interesting. By the way, someone said that I said water like it was bottom text. <laughs> <laughs> that was very funny. You did. <laughs> US measurements are like add an appropriate amount of. Yeah. I do hate when I read baking instructions and for like bread and they're always like, I don't know. Uh, just figure does it, it out. feel good does it like feel <laughs> correct you... and i'm like i don't know <laughs> recipe be like why are you asking me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every bread recipe that i've i've attempted it's like knead the dough until it feels correct and i'm like i don't know what that feels like for this <laughs> one can oh. you tell me what that means and then it's also like but also it should be wetter than normal and i'm like what the f what what's normal 10 percent wetter than usual please i think the next i think maybe this week i'm gonna try to bake a focaccia Ooh. focaccia bun on a burner yeah wow. like a real focaccia i tried to make a focaccia before and it was okay it wasn't like the best it just didn't have a lot of flavor yeah but now that you had that one from fausto <laughs> mm. Yeah. That had like the full scallions baked into it. 
Yeah. That what shit was fuck? so good. It was so good. Oh my what god. The fuck. It's the best focaccia bread I've ever had, and maybe one of the best breads I've ever had in my life. Damn. It was the highlight of that meal. Oh yeah, I just want to <laughs> consume that forever. I'm going to see if I can find pictures of it so that I can do that when I make focaccia. Hi, Olive. Olive's in my lap now. Whoa. If you live in New York, go to Fausto. Oh, so good. In Brooklyn on Flatbush and get the focaccia. Whoa. And then you can come back to the stream. Yes. <laughs> yeah, go right now, please. Go right now, please. Oh, apparently your mom's got a focaccia recipe. Oh, does she? Yeah, Draz just linked it. <laughs> I'll use her focaccia recipe. <laughs> your wow. mom's got a focaccia. <laughs> no. Oh. Focaccia tip, always double the olive oil the recipe calls for. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I did think you that when you made yours, it needed to have more oil. Yeah. It was also the first bread I had ever made, so I really didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I also like needed it for not long enough. Um. We can't go to Fausto. It closes at five thirty. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh my god, it's closed. <laughs> no, it opens at five thirty. It opens at five thirty. It's closed oh. on Mondays and Tuesdays. Oh, but it opens at five on Saturday and Sunday. It's a dinner only establishment. Wow. 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 Oh my god, pasta though. You're making like a pasta thing this week, right? You're gonna make some tortellini soup. Hell yeah. yeah. Your tortellini soup was really good last time, so. And and no, I don't make the tortellini. I buy that <laughs> prepackaged shit. It's delicious. That's fair. Uh we saw my cousin while we were in France and um, I was recalling the time that I met her grandmother one time because she's like my second cousin, whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, your grandmother, I went into the wrong room and it was just like every surface had tortellini on it. <laughs> and my cousin was like, yeah, well, she is Italian. And uh, I was like, oh, yes. That makes sense. That's, that's fair. She snorted the spaghetti. She snorted, she snorted the, the spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> okay, oh here's skate. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This is Thank excellent. You. I love them. <laughs> I All guess right. I'm, I will maybe you should draw. You probably can't draw with olive in your lap like that. Hmm? Oh. I can draw. Figure it out. I'll do it. Don't tell me what to Look do, it. Karina. You can see your little face. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny face. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Just sneaking in. Tiny, tiny cat face. She's so cute. Hey. <laughs> Straka need... Nona as a snowboard kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Before she was Straka Nona. <laughs> she was the SBK. <laughs> All right, what should Julia draw? <laughs> For real this time. What do we got? What do we got? Uh... I'm getting a lot of requests for Eugene, and listen, I'm always down to draw Eugene, but <laughs> doing he's what? Your, he's your Blorbo. He is my Blorbo. <laughs> he's the only character I can really like knock out right Hell away. Yeah. I'm seeing Eugene in Bloodborne. <laughs> Eugene as a snowboard. <laughs> Eugene on a snowboard. Ah! Eugene making tortellini. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Hi.
Eugene eating spaghetti. Eugene persona. Eugene become Italian. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sequel to Detroit Become Human. No. Is Eugene become Italian? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Punk oh. Eugene. Punk Eugene. That would be not really a stretch with his look. Eh. Eugene, but make it be stars. If you don't do Eugene persona, I'll draw you Eugene's persona. Okay. Deal? Deal. You just have to tell me what animal he is. He's probably like a. Um, he's like a mink. Mm -hmm. Like some sort of smooth weasel. Um, he's not your Blorbo. This is. I'm just like throwing out ideas. <laughs> I'm seeing a lemur, a ferret. I was thinking about ferret too. I was kind of in the ferret realm with mink. Yeah. A red panda. A sable. A sable, yeah. I feel like he'd be a sable. That's like a weaselly dude, right? Yeah. Sable. How do you, oh, there you go. Animal. Aww. No, sable. Ah. So cute. Oh yeah, they're so cute. Oh. That's Eugene right there. That's Eugene. <laughs> That's the Blorbo. <laughs> Eugene would be the opposite of an elephant because he never remembers. <laughs> Fucking Fair. got him. Oh, thank you, Olive. Now I can draw in a position that allows me to do anything. Wow. Where? 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 I do kind of punk Eugene. Oh, is that what you're doing? You're no, I was going to draw a different one, but. You're okay. going to punk him? What would. <laughs> what do punks look like? Uh oh. <laughs> what do you mean, what do punks look like? <laughs> Just Google image search punk. Sure did. We got a couple of punks in the chat right here. Hey. Well, they hey. have a, punks have a lot of ways they can look. Yeah, there's no standard for it. That's literally that's the part, point of punk. That's part of being punk. <laughs> that's yeah. That's part of it. <laughs> Just got to make them a little edgy. Didn't Karina draw punk Eugene? That nah, was delinquent Eugene. It's different. Yeah, it can be different. Just rip up some of his shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just rip up his shit. Yeah. Add some more spikes. And make him look like angry or kind of like bleh. Angry Eugene. Kind of like, bleh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do know what you mean. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <gasps> Wow. I'm saying this. Oh, sorry, no, you, you. Uh, you, 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 you. No, you, you. you, you, you. you, you, you no, you, you, no, you, I'm not even here. You, you, what were you, you about to say? I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm, I'm not here. here. I'm here. Hi, everybody. Hi, ah. hey, everybody. It's... Well, it's hard to vacuum over there. Jacob, say what you were going to say. He's still under the desk. 
Get right. out from there. Ah. Ah. Say your piece, Georgia boy. Ah. That was really hard. Um, here's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Back when I was going to lots of punk shows, mm -hmm. the general look was uh, jorts, like cut off jorts always, leg tattoos for sure, tattoos in general. Mostly it was like ripped up band shirt, cut off jorts, lots of tattoos, a lot of bad tattoos. Bad tattoos. I do imagine that Eugene has tattoos, uh, but not must, bad tattoos. Mustache. <gasps> I saw lots of mustache. Secret tattoos. Mustache. Yeah, kind of like the the dad dad punk look. No, no. I want to go back to talking about Eugene's tattoos. <laughs> mustache, nose ring. Oh Cannon? my god. <laughs> <laughs> Julia. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Does Eugene have tattoos? Secret tattoos? Yeah. No. He's Feed got, me. He's Feed got, me. <laughs> imagine he has some rib tattoos. Ooh. I had been thinking about this while I was away. Uh, I want to see. I'll try and sneak him in here. Yeah. Okay. The thing I was going to say before Jacob interrupted me <laughs> was uh, I, we, we said this earlier in an episode that we recorded, but like, I always love how you just bust out with no underdrawing. This looks so good. Thank you. Um, that's, uh, I was going to say that's like fashion, the the fashion illustration training in me, but I think it's entirely because of my workload when I was at uh, Dorkly. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> it was just like a comic a day, I guess. I they truly tried to break me like like a horse when I was at College <laughs> Humor, and it just never worked. <laughs> I was like, again, it's too slow. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I can't go any faster. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> and you gallop away. Yeah. Okay. Someone said rib tattoos are the sexiest, but I thought it said rib tattoos are sexist, and I was really intrigued <laughs> <laughs> to like see the fall. No. Men can't have rib tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Rib tattoos are sexist. Oh, you have rib tattoos? Mm, let me get you some lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> let me get you some lemonade and some wipes for your ass. Oh, uh, you have a rib tattoo? Wow. What's it like to be so against women? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was ready to read the thought piece <laughs> i've stopped reading the second i see a take on twitter that starts off with just like the most insane take i'm like you know what not gonna interact with this yeah it's when i close twitter <laughs> the instant I see a take, any take, yeah, I close Twitter. I don't make it through many tweets. No. I'm just here to look at anime news <laughs> and really good art. Okay, I just want to look at the art. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for, too. I hope that we're going to enter into an era where everyone just stops having takes. I want the take era to be done. Well, it's going to be like, you know how like Gen Z comedy is like, so we had boomer humor. Uh, we had boomer humor, which was like what you would expect. And then you had like the humor after that, which was like subverting it. And now we have Gen Z humor, which is like anti like joke basically yeah um i want i want there to be like you know we're in the era of everyone having a take about everything i want there to be the anti-take that's what i'm saying i think it's gonna happen 
Today's football said, take era over, time for give era. Wow. Yes. And that's what I'm thinking. It's time for us to give. That's, I feel like I'm in my give era. I usually don't express opinions online because I know that's not the place to do it anymore. So I just post my art, you're welcome. That is, that's what giving is. You make something you and you give it. All you do is take and take. <laughs> no but more that's taking. that's what I like to do. Only giving. I give so much, so much for And then you can have it. You don't even have to take it. Yeah. You can have it all. All my Neo pets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should check if they fix the security breach yet. Never. I mean, they haven't posted an update since the 21st, so. Yep, no updates. <laughs> cool. Is this the, the bit of tattoo? Ooh. Cool abstract. <gasps> yeah, I imagine it's some sort of like, I haven't quite decided what it is yet, but I, I think it's like some spirit, like mm. eyes thing. I love Eugene. That look up that? and around. He's a, a highly fashionable boy. All I do is be like, Julia, can I do this asset so I have an excuse to draw your blorbo? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, please, yeah. Please, please. Now I'm on a mission to get more and more people to draw Eugene. Um, selfishly. You fool. Just tell him to do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's why I commissioned Sid to draw you that amazing Eugene piece that she came up with. If you didn't see the very good Sid Eugene piece, it's on my Twitter. Yeah, it rules. So good. She did a fantastic job. Yeah. yeah. She's like a legit like published illustrator and I was like, can you draw my OC? <laughs> Please. I give you money. And then Sid was like, <laughs> Yeah, this is basically my favorite thing to do. So yes, ah. it's like yes. When is season finale? Next uh, week. Next week. <gasps> One week. It's been. Yeah, it's been. <laughs> next Tuesday. I'm so excited! Ah, it's a um, good one. I just want to say to you, Julia. Yeah, what's up? That if you really want Eugene fan art, and you ask for it in an episode. That's true. I'm still getting fern. I'm still getting fern every day. I get at least one fern fan art piece. Since that episode went up, I've received ferns daily. And it's it's amazing. Nice. I get a, just a daily dose of fern fan art. Hmm. Sometimes I still yeah. get um Do you guys know that people like it when you draw their OCs? I do. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, like and I'm always grateful for any sort of like art, but I'm just like, oh, you drew me. Why not my OC? <laughs> <laughs> me though? <laughs> Have you thought about OC though? Ew, me? <laughs> yeah. There's been a lot of like uh, really, really good Karina fan art, but. some Sometimes people like, it's weird to like uh, see my own visage, I think. Yeah, you know? I get that. So uh, I I like when people draw my OCs. Wink, wink. Fill our mentions with OC fan art. Yeah, why would you draw Karina when you could draw Destiel Confession? Exactly. I have lots of different flavors of OC depending on what you like to draw, you know. I have one OC. The sliding scale of like, yes, that's a uh, uh, gremlin to whore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have all of my like furry OCs, my neo pets, but they also have human sonas. <laughs> you know, we got dilfs. <laughs> um, and I have an excellent selection of ambiguously violent non-binary yep. characters that you can draw, or York. That's true. You have a gremlin whore. I guess that would be Destiel Confession. 
<laughs> He's nasty. He's problematic. Oh, I'm loving this collar. Yeah, Julia, this is so fucking good. Yeah, York is not ambiguously violent. <laughs> He's overtly <laughs> violent. True. You know what? We had talked about it earlier in the episode we recorded. What? Hair accessories. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Spoilers. We spoil Spoilers. something every stream. Basically. I think that's fun. I think that's a fun thing to do. Snonya says Karina gave me a whore to draw and I'll do it immediately right now. Uh pick take your pick. <laughs> Go to Karina's Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Pick one. I still I still post to Tumblr because Twitter's like Twitter sucks for archiving. So all of my stuff is also on Tumblr, which has a so much better like archive system. It's so much easier to find things and like I still tag things. So just saying. <laughs> Twitter sucks. It sucks for posting art. But unfortunately, we're all just kind of stuck there, I guess. Julia, this is a cool drawing. Yeah, this rocks. Thanks. I went back to my um, fashion art days, which is probably my favorite thing to do. Yeah. I just don't let myself get too squiggly on I really, I, I said this, I think, on the Patreon stream we did last Friday, but, like, uh, with this brush, like, or whatever brushes you're using in Clip, like, so good. Thank you. It's just, a, just a bunch. Yeah. yeah, did you just use you zero? You using zero for most of it. Yeah. yeah, the way it looks when you use it is so, I love the contour drawing that you do. Thanks. Yeah, I really like doing fashion illustration, but I don't let myself do it on the show because it's hard to do a character design that's like vague. <laughs> uh, Jacob, you want to draw? I don't know what you're talking about. You should do what you want on the show. Mm. And yes, I want to draw. <laughs> okay. And I want you to draw what you want. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everyone tell Julia to draw what she wants. I think that's why I like drawing Eugene as much as I do, because it gives me the excuse to draw this style. You already have the excuse. That's true. It's called You Can Just Do It. It's your channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. I mean, that's why I like drawing like Nando. Nando is my default man face. So he's very easy to draw. <laughs> Nan face. Nan face. But what should I draw that I yeah, want? Uh, I mean, what do you want? Well, huh? I don't know. I, they have to tell me what I want. Wow. <laughs> you work as a Dark Souls boss. More deep um, cut N64 characters. Yes. I like that. <laughs> I got to find... Bugs x Daffy. What is this I've been hearing about Bugs and Daffy canon? What? Tell me that, chat. Since you love to explain things to me, because oh. I'm just a stupid little dummy. 1080 Snowboarding is also the other snowboard game I played. Wow. What's wow. the most underrated? This website is trying to tell me that Quest 64 was underrated. <laughs> that game sucked ass. Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey. Oh, do I want to draw freaking Goemon? Oh, I know that one. From Mystical Ninja? Is that the 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 blue-haired guy? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, chat, but how did they confirm it was canon? You're not giving me all the details. I can't just look it up. I need someone to tell it to me. Oh, you're describing half of my job. <laughs> <laughs> People messaging me being like, how do I do this? I'm like, just, Please. It's, right, it's literally right there. Please explain. This would have happened so much faster for you had you just typed this sentence into Google and sent it to me. But now... Now you've made it take twice the amount of effort for yourself. 
I freaking love Goemon. Yeah. I wish that he had been more, his games had been more popular so that there could be more of them. He's got the big smug face with the little cheekies. Little button nose. What? I see now. Fausto delivers on DoorDash? I did not know this. What the hell? I feel like, do you think it would deliver well? I don't know. But you know I love Italian food. You know I'm always looking for a good pasta spot that will deliver to me. <laughs> Julia's still looking at bread. Yes. <laughs> well, Let I looked her. at. I wanted to see because they changed the kind of focaccia that they have every couple of months, and I was trying to find the one that we what? had a bit ago, and I think I found it. So, so that's very exciting. You can't be looking at focaccia right now. I'm drawing, so you two have to talk. I'm sorry. I was still looking at focaccia. <laughs> sorry, I was watching the Bugs Bunny, Daffy, whatever the fuck. Hey, Julia, how's it going? Hey, you know, this guy, <laughs> Goemon, he's got kind of the same makeup look as Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's just like my Vlorbo. He's just like my Vlorbo. <laughs> he's he's perfect just like eugene is yeah you, you know this is something i've been thinking about what's up i in my normal daily life would say eugene uh -huh. but because of your character i keep saying eugene like with emphasis on the u instead of the gene oh eugene but i would i would have before said eugene but now I say Eugene. Like you, it's been it's been changed. It's so interesting that you think about the way that you say things. I never do until people start to roast me for it in YouTube comments. Well, if you, you want to know why I think about it, because I had one traumatic experience. Uh-huh. <gasps> no. <laughs> where someone pointed out to me that I said umbrella with emphasis on the um like umbra instead of umbrella <laughs> and like multiple people kept telling me it was weird that i kept saying umbrella and then i was like damn i wasn't i wasn't even thinking about that like i wonder what other things i'm saying and like with like a weird emphasis and now i notice it you and rihanna together yeah rihanna <laughs> rihanna agrees <laughs> Rihanna agrees with me. I mean, I have, I have a, uh, I have that with how I pronounce Simpsons. Oh yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> My brother used to make fun of me for how I said it. Also, chimney. I would say chimney, like chimney cricket. I like that. That's a good one. Aw, I just try not to care anymore. I mean, these were two things that bothered me when I was a kid. And yeah. not so much anymore. No, there was one time I when I was a kid where because I was really into uh Haruhi Suzumiya when uh -huh. I was an eighth grader, and that's why I'm an asshole now. But um <laughs> you know, it's it's the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, but I'd never like heard that word said out loud before. So I yeah. said melancholy, and my <laughs> brother like roasted the shit out of me and I never recovered from it. Melancholy is really good. <laughs> no one no one <laughs> told me. That's amazing. I mean, but it's like I can't blame you. Like if you didn't haven't yeah. heard it. Like why I don't would know you how to say words. Like if they're spelt some way, like I'm just gonna say it say it the way I read it. Like in Jot Detectives, Artie Feichel. <laughs> That's right. just how I read it. <laughs> Artie Feichel. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> I have this thing now where like, so for a, a really long time, probably up until like college, 
yeah, up until college, I would say. I tried to hide the fact that I was born and raised deaf. Um, just because it was like a thing when, when I was a kid, I would get made fun of, you know, for just like all the time, um, of just like, you know, I had a speech impediment and lisp and, uh, the way that I said things were weird. Um, and then I had a, you know, moment in college where I like, I was like, no, actually it's pretty cool that like. I don't know. It's fine. It's like part of me. It's uh, it was eight years of my life, blah, blah, blah. And now any time that I pronounce anything incorrectly, I'm like, it's a goddamn miracle. I pronounce anything correctly. <laughs> so <laughs> you should be lucky. I'm pronouncing anything yeah. at all. Oh, I said it wrong. What are you going to do? Make fun of me? I have more followers than you on the internet. <laughs> Doctors told me I won't be able to speak, so screw you. I do this for a living now, you asshole. Yeah. Also, while um, Jacob and I were on vacation, I got a few people who didn't realize that I wasn't, like, raised in france which was a very cool moment and every time it happened i would like bring it up to jacob i was like they didn't know <laughs> they didn't know i'm not from here <laughs> i was very proud of that genuinely hell yeah look at this little gremlin he's like kind of a mix between a frog he's so fun he's like a the frog pineapple He's just such a dumpy little him. guy. He's a little dumpling. He's a little dumpling. But yeah. Be cute. Yeah. People people don't appreciate how difficult it is to just say things all the time and sometimes <laughs> you do it wrong. You oh. should be applauding me every time I <laughs> lean into the microphone. <laughs> You should applaud us every time we don't just constantly knock into our microphones because we're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> we we fudge. You know what? Just applaud us constantly. Just yeah. constantly. Just Everything assume, we do is an accomplishment. Assume we're doing something that's harder than you think it is all the time. And applaud us. I mean, us. it was kind of interesting because I was talking I with my drama. brother. I'm just like, should I? Eh. So, um, <laughs> you hate uh, I'll just, I'll just mention this. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> my cousin is the guy who, uh, developed Dolly mini and, yeah. uh, <laughs> and we were kind of joking about like, oh, maybe you can be on stream or something. And I was like, I don't know how well that would go. Cause my mom kept saying that. And, um, uh, so I was talking about it with my brother and he's just like, not only is it like different, like when, like between talking with like family and friends and like having to like be funny all the time on a stream, but it's also like, he was like, also like you're used to hearing your own voice. And I'm like, yeah, that That's is true. weird. Cause I remember the first time I ever heard my uh, voice like played back when I was a kid, I was like, That's what I sound like. Yeah, yeah, me, me too. Absolutely. But now I'm just completely used to it. Same. Well, I didn't think about how weird it is until we had my parents in for a video series that we did at Dorkly that wound up not going anywhere. So the episode didn't go up on uh, the channel. But my father, who's like a very nice, uh, charismatic person, I would say, um, you put him in front of a camera and like, you know, you have the boom mic, which would be mm -hmm. like up in the air. And my dad would like reach to speak into it. <laughs> and I was like, no, dad, like it's going to get, it's like, Papa. they did a thing so that it'll catch you if you just speak normally. And he's like, oh, okay. And then I was like, okay, just like talk to Tony. And without fail, he would always like look at camera and like, stretch Aww. up to the mic and i was like no father <laughs> papa no sit. <laughs> sit and just talk i have a normal conversation but like it's you know he had never done it before yeah, yeah. it's it's super bizarre to do stuff like that for the first time there's a lot of yeah, things you have to sure. ignore but it's it's just weird because like we're so used to it and yeah, yeah my mom was like oh have him on and i was like 
ha ha ha. She's like, oh, he's such a funny guy. Like invite him on. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not only is it weird to like subject people to the nonsense that is the conversations we have and they have to go along with it. It makes me so nervous. Yes. Anytime someone like, like, I bring in someone to guest and they have to like figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But also just like if it's someone who's not used to being recorded, like that's so scary. Like yeah. for you to do for the first time. So like mm -hmm. I mean there's there's like a lot of unspoken rules too when you do when you do like videos in general, but then like every channel has their own rules about like pacing and tone and you know kind of like the vibe we're trying to hit and stuff like that so bringing a guest on every time i'm like oh god <laughs> it's like Please. it always stresses <laughs> me out the first time yeah i mean i think we've mentioned this before but that's why whenever spencer's on it's just kind of like extra hostile because like that that helps him get into yeah. the the flow of things <laughs> and we know that. Just, yeah like it's fine <laughs> but um because he gets really nervous so i'm just like yeah okay, well i know what'll help you be more comfortable <laughs> letting you like giving you an <laughs> opening to letting like be really fucking mean <laughs> well i think it, it's also like you know we know that about spencer and like mm -hmm. you know sometimes it it gets confused with like the audience where they're like, wow, that was like really like, you know, such and such guest is being really mean. But like yes. in Spencer's case, he's literally like, he talks to Jacob a lot. Uh, he talks to Karina, I'm guessing just constantly, more or less. <laughs> um, and it's like, if we have a guest that we feel like we don't vibe with, we're, we just won't have them back on. Not that I'm saying that any guest we've had on only once has been someone we haven't vibed with. It's just, you know, there's other things that happen. But, like, you know, we, yeah, that that's kind of the one of the benefits to being independent is just, like, you know, we don't, we don't have to work with this person again. Not that, again, I think we haven't had that yeah. yet. But, you know, we could. <laughs> What's happening, Jacob? Are you okay? I see you struggling over here. Are you struggling? Don't. He, he just looked like he was telling you not to drug. Don't, Don't drug. drug. <laughs> <laughs> I do like where you landed with it. I mean, I liked it it's before. It's cute. But He's so. <laughs> you really leaned into like his kind of dumpy proportions. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't love my art lately, so it's hard that. for me to be happy with any of it. You're doing great. I like it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the heck is that? I found Spencer on the show aggressive and on a mean way. Well, if he's not aggro, he's not gonna say anything. And we want everyone <laughs> to be involved. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, should we pass back to Karina? Pass back to yes. Karina. What am I doing? Are you doing Sable Eugene? Or <gasps> yes, there a different one? I oh, am. Okay. I am. The I Persona? Was like, wasn't the, persona. the one I was going to do? It was that one. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I'm sorry. You want your yeah. selfie? Yeah, I just wanted to point and silently <laughs> have you know exactly what I wanted. Chat saying that they <laughs> love your art, Jacob. I appreciate that. Sometimes I don't love it, though. We all have those moments. Yeah. Now it's my turn to point. You animal. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're so cute. Sometimes you like your art and sometimes you don't. Yeah. And sometimes That's... there's a few days in a row where you really don't like your art. Yeah, <laughs> that's Arch Baby. We've also all got like, I mean, everyone does. You got like different things you're looking for in your own art. Yeah. And when you don't like hit the things that you that you like the most. Yeah. Then that's when it feels like really disappointing. Like, I don't like it when I draw something that's like really stiff. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sometimes I just can't. I can't get a pose going, and so everything feels really stiff and lifeless. And then I don't, I don't like the art anymore. 
Because for me, that's like my one of my most important things is I want it to look like energetic, energetic. Yeah, dynamic. Yeah. That's true. But I feel mm. like your poses have been getting even more energetic and better. Yeah. Recently. Do you want me to give you a different pose book? <laughs> so I cannot look at it. Do you yeah. want Karina to teach a class on dynamic poses? Oh, wait. How oh, convenient. Oh, that would be great, actually. <laughs> That would be so helpful. Wow. I'm doing that this Friday for our uh, learner tier oh Patreon. I know how to do the ad read. Wow. Um, Jacob, you should sit in. Oh, uh, maybe I'll go to the class and then I'll learn how to do dynamic <laughs> poses. <laughs> You're nasty. Okay. I uninvite you. <laughs> All right, it's time for me, I guess. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be there and there's nothing you can do to stop it because I'm the no, one who will run the stream. No, haha, no. <laughs> yeah, I still need to figure that out, but that is what I'll be doing. Dynamic drawing, dynamic poses, whatever. Yeah. I love, I love a good dynamic Some drawing. NG. It's going to be good. Um. Yeah, I feel like something, a trap that I've been falling into recently is that I've been in such like a, a art pit for so long that I am like desperately trying to call myself back. But I think that I'm like too desperate because I try to do art things that I've never done before. And if it doesn't immediately click, I'm like, that's another failure in the book. I can I cannot do art. Yeah, the worst. <laughs> that's the worst mindset to, to get I mean, stuck in. Yeah, the problem is that you actually have to like do all the things. Yeah, I was I was talking with one of my friends yesterday. We just had a really long powwow about music and art, mm -hmm. and I was showing him like I was I was showing him like letting him use Clip Studio because he works in Photoshop and he's been thinking about trying it. So I was like, oh, try it out on my computer. So um, so I was showing him like, oh, and here's like a digital painting I've done, and he's like, ooh. I like the blue highlight you did on the skin. And I was like, yeah, I was trying to do that technique that they do in traditional painting where you do the green underpainting and then you go over it. But I didn't study how that works, so it didn't work. And I just made a blue highlight. <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah, it turns out you have to actually understand the, the theories behind it for it to work properly. Yeah. But it still kind of came out cool. I don't know. And he's just like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> So that's an oopsie into a cool thing. Yeah. Like maybe it wasn't the thing I wanted, but like it was still it was still pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's like that special ratio where it's like if you're learning something new, you want the new thing to only be like 20% mm -hmm. of what you're doing. You want to be doing something that you're 80% good at and 20% new stuff. Oh, that's interesting. And that's like the best ratio for for learning because you get to have that basis of like doing something Starting you're already off. good at so you don't feel like completely blindsided by the new thing you're learning i'm literally doing that right now because i'm just like what is this creature's face proportions i don't have yeah. a good reference of the profile so i'm gonna change it <laughs> to yeah. the front sorry <laughs> my problem is that i do the opposite ratio jacob you do a 20 a 20 80 <laughs> yeah I do 20% what I know, 80% new, and I'm like, why am I bad at art? Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know who I am? I think I'm, what's his name, Bokuto from Haikyuu. Where, like, every time you hit a spike successfully, you're like, I'm the best in the world. And yeah. then when you miss a spike, you're like, I'm the worst. I'm the worst Who's trash. ever lived. I, can, I cannot do art. I've never been able to do art. I don't even know what art is. <laughs> what is pen? Okay. Okay, this makes more sense. I was just watching the clip of him being down in the dumps during the game and he's like, I don't even know what a line spike is. <laughs> and all the audience was like, What did he just say? <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Really? And they're like, Yes, you do. <laughs> And really, I got to look at my art and go, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bokuto is very fun. He sounds fun. Bokuto is stupid, and I love him. I do love a stupid he's, boy. He's a stupid owl. 
Oh, he's the owl one with the light. No. Yeah. No. Wait, no. That's, that's Wait, Korai. Gray. There's another bird esque one. Okay. Korai's the owl one. I'll send you the picture of Bokuto. Okay. Bokuto. I love Bokuto. <laughs> Bad. I love Bokuto. Well, Bokuto is the owl, but Korai looks more like an owl at first glance. Yeah, he like is literally a bird because he flies. Oh. I mean, aren't a bunch of them like bird themed? Bo yeah. Bokuto is just like a pigeon. Head empty. Good for him. Hey, hey. There you go. Yeah. No, that's the one I was talking about. No, oh. you weren't. What? When we send you Korai, you'll be like, that's the one I was talking about. Okay, send me Korai. Are you sending it to her or should I? Well, I, I thought you had posted it in a chat I had access to, but you didn't. So you I didn't. I just sent it directly to Karina. I'll send you the other one. I've never seen this boy in my life. This is Korai, the second one? Yeah. yeah. And the first one is a stupid one. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the one I was talking about. Oh. Okay, your gesture made me think it, you were thinking of the other one because he has well, more of a. You you cut me off before I said he had, the hair was two tone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I really was so sure I knew what you were about to say, but I've turns out I've never seen the second one, and I kind of hate his look. He looks too much like an owl. He looks too much like a shaved owl. <laughs> he does look like a shaved owl, yeah. It's one of those like baby owls that you like find in the attic and it's like weird alien footage of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like that one that was going around for a while of the the rescuer who was releasing them into the wild and put their hand into a bucket of baby owls and just picked one up and like put them down and then they would run into the pipe. But every single one of them was maintaining eye contact with the rescuer. <laughs> it was very funny. Yeah. Owls are so weird. Yeah, they sure are. I like when they blink their eyes independent from each other. <laughs> Like yeah. they're, they're thinking about which eye they want to blink. He's absolutely got the Lagoshi thing of the ear. <laughs> the little ear twitch. The little ear twitch. I love that thing. Did you ever like watch more of Beastars? No. Okay. Wait, did you ever watch any of Beastars? I watched yeah. a few episodes. I wow. read further in the manga. Yeah. Now I have even more of the manga. I'll probably watch it at some point. You should. I really want to watch more Spy Family, but I'm waiting because I'm a good yeah. friend. <laughs> I'm desperate. I'm desperate. They're spies and they're a family. Isn't the season over? Probably. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. Suspised? Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When does the next season of Haikyuu come out? Not soon enough. Isn't it like this fall sometime? I think so. God, I hope so. Kiwi Queen said, do you not say the X in Spy Family like in Hunter X Hunter, but also you don't say the X in that. It's just Hunter Hunter. We learned that the hard way when we said it, and then all the comments were like, no. Apparently, you never said. say the damn X. People are too mean about people saying things incorrectly. How am I supposed to learn if you're out here giving me trauma every time I say a word weird? <laughs> that's what that's, this. This is. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> oh, man. It's hard for us. The expectation is next year, Jacob. What the hell? Wow. I feel like they managed to put out a Demon Slayer every other week. 
<laughs> yeah. And then Haikyuu takes three and a half years for per season. Because all the animators are just. Is it because Demon the Slayer is the most profitable <laughs> <laughs> thing that they've ever made in the history hmm. of anime? Hmm. We can only wonder. Okay, but this website also says we can expect that the fifth season of the series Haikyuu will be released late 2021. What the hell? What the hell? They missed that deadline. None of these websites know what they're talking about. I guess we'll never know. I've already read the whole Haikyuu manga. And it is good. But I want to see it animated. It's different. It hits different. It does hit different. The anime is of, of Haikyuu is incredible. So I've seen... It truly does hit different. Mm. I'm really liking how this is coming along, Karina. Thank you. I figured out the shape. You, you've learned. You've learned I've something learned. live. I learned live on stream. Wow. Wow. You too could learn how to draw things. Whoa. Are you feeling inspired yet? On a scale from one to 10, how inspired are you all feeling? Very. I better see nothing but tens. Yeah, or else uh, that's it. Five, stream. three. Yes, what? Joy? What's up? Two. Damn. Did you hear the nervous meow that Joy just let out? Damn, I got, I'm seeing Why? numbers all over the place. Why are you like this? Because she's a little punk ass. She is. <laughs> Hi, Q. Season five. Just... Some people are disrespecting the scale that I set out, Hi, which was from one to ten. Yeah, 50,000 is too high. Negative 10 is too low. Hi, Joy. Twenty eight is too high, but not so high that it's ridiculous. <laughs> Someone said Someone said not losing hope for Haikyuu season five. Listen, Haikyuu is one of like the top or was one of the top manga for a while and is one of the top anime. It's going to happen. Yeah, Haikyuu is incredibly popular. There's there's no like risk that there's not going to be a season five. Yeah. Joy, what's happening with you? Huh? What's happening? Look at your little butt. Look at your little butt. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> when the cat is cute. Oh shit. When the cute cat hits. Does Eugene have an eye color? Uh no. I I always color it as like dark gray. Yeah, I think that's basically what it is. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I take a lot of liberties with your designs, Julia. Fair. Because no one has an eye color in draw detectives. I just assigned them all <laughs> myself. Yeah, most of them don't. Yeah. Uh, do any of them have eye color? I don't think so. I mean, I none of them did season one. I gave Rosé like a subtle one season two but you can barely see it in the sprites. <laughs> um, but whenever I do renders, I just make them up. <laughs> Here's a tip. All art is made up, baby. Yeah, exactly. They're your characters. They're my characters now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw them however I want. Yeah, yeah. All, all of them, when I do it, they have brown eyes. They're just different shades of brown. Rosé is like a red brown. 
uh, Grandin's like a kind of mid, and then York is yellow. Yeah, I've, I've just realized I like never draw eye colors. I always just do like dot or line eyes. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I used to do that a lot, but I like changed how I drew eyes in the past couple of years. So now I typically have it look like this instead. I don't think Karina said Grendon is mid. <laughs> eyes are mid. <laughs> what what does that mean? Eyes are mid. Cause red, brown, orange, brown, yellow, brown. That's what I meant. Grandin's in the middle. Cause rose is red and York is yellow. Gotcha. Okay. I should have just said orange, but I didn't. I said middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, what's the color on this? Middle. Middle. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, the middle color. This is cute as heck. This is your blurbo. Yeah, it's true. Where's the piercings? Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always forgetting Eugene's piercings. I, I was looking back and I forgot it in one of the assets I did for the finale. <laughs> So really? Oh, yeah, I can, I can look. I mean, it doesn't matter now, but like, <laughs> clearly you didn't notice. <laughs> yep. I Here mean, things can come out. I'm always saying one. this. It's the last one. I kind of like take out elements if I feel like they don't suit the image, especially with Eugene. Like, he doesn't always have his pink, uh, like eyeliner. Oh, I love the pink eyeliner, though. <laughs> yeah, but if he has dot eyes, I never put the pink eyeliner on. You yeah. want to get it? Oh, I can go. Okay, That's fair. Here. Yeah, we're talking about Blorbos right now. Yeah. Don't leave. <laughs> yeah, this, I, I've said this before. my Eugene trick. Your Eugene trick? Oh, yeah. yeah. The little splatter. Yeah. Yeah, someone thought that his collar was a clue with like sorry guys the dots it's... and i was like mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's a splatter brush yeah splatter brush into my heart. um i think i've mentioned this before on a different stream or video or something but like mm -hmm. i didn't understand the appeal of like i didn't understand how people got so into um ocs <laughs> like I, re I really just didn't understand i was like why do you have so much why are you collecting so much fan art of your oc like you fool like not that i was like against it no. like i just i just like didn't understand i was like yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds really fun but like i don't know i don't get it and then i got eugene and i was like um <laughs> got eugene <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was assigned to eugene <laughs> Hey, I just this watched is his persona. <laughs> yes, sorry. Someone said I just watched on YouTube a compilation of video of the food arriving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sent it to the team before uh, earlier today. Yeah. A bab assigned Blorbo at birth. <laughs> What's your Blorbo? Yeah. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> There I'm back. Is. The Blorbo. There he is. There's only five minutes left, but I finished the Blorbo. Just keep keep Blorbing. Okay. Keep Blorbing for five minutes. I guess I can feel this. That's the new vamp. <laughs> Just Blorb. Just Blorb. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to make me Blorb. <laughs> Someone said Julia found Eugene in a bucket and kept him. Yeah, he's a stray cat. <laughs> No, he's a sable. He's a sable. <laughs> sable silly. <laughs> a stray ball. I've been getting more and more suggested videos on socials of ferret, like people's ferrets, like TikToks of people's ferrets. And uh -huh. um, God, they're funny little creatures. Did you see that one that's been going around Twitter where it's just the ferret like losing its shit? It's just like bouncing around the bed. 
Yes. I haven't seen that. <laughs> okay. Well, I saw the one no, of the person. Right. I forgot the goddamn piercings. Okay, thank who you. Who got like the tube and they threw like the one end of the tube onto the floor and all of the ferrets are just like, what? <laughs> yeah. And they just like bounce around and they're just like the wiggliest things and then more ferrets come out. It cracked me up. My friend had ferrets. Yeah. Growing up. And they were such fun little dudes. They seem like real menaces. Yeah. They are menaces, but they're very fun to play with. Because they just want to crawl through and in and around everything. And they want to play constantly. Aww. But they are stinky. I bet. They're stinky little freaks. I really wanted a ferret as a kid. Same. They're very cute. And then I think I decided that it was like too much. Yeah, there's a lot of animals I wanted as a kid, but in hindsight, it's probably very ideal that I never got them. I really wanted a hairless rat. You nasty. I always saw them at the store and I was like, I like this one. Does Eugene have the piercings on both ears? Like every one? Yeah. Okay. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to get a hamster when I was a kid. And my parents basically told me, no, you don't. Oh. And I was like, damn. Guess I don't. <laughs> I guess I don't then. <laughs> but they were probably right. I mean, I had a hamster. I like that hamster. Very intelligent, real asshole. But you know what? Maybe I deserve that. Okay, but then it was like we got a dog, and then we got a cat, and then I didn't Aww. want a hamster anymore. Well, yeah, I guess I guess that'll do it. Julie is showing me a ferret TikTok right now. The one Good. with the tube. Look at them. They're like, oh my God. They love this tube. I love when ferrets jump sideways. Yeah. They're so crittery. Yeah. They sure are. So I was looking at TikToks earlier on my computer. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I was looking at, at TikTok art challenges to see if any of them would be good to do an episode on. Uh -huh. Interesting. Um, and there's a lot of fun ones, but... I don't know if this is just like the, the website, the TikTok website, but sometimes I would click on one to watch it and it would just pull up a completely different one. Mm, and I'm great. like, I'd watch like half and I'd be like, I don't think this is an art challenge. <laughs> and I would yeah. go back and be like, what the hell? Why did it just show me a different TikTok? <laughs> Hi, Joy. Why are you rubbing up again? Seems weird for such a popular service. <laughs> For that to happen. People are saying that does happen. Great. Awesome. That's bizarre. That is very weird. Oh, look at this little dog. Porf dog. Porf dog. Someone asked, has anyone draw drawn a pre-piercing, pre-tattooed, awkward teen Eugene? I did draw a kid Eugene in my free time. Where? <laughs> I didn't post them anywhere. Because I was just like sitting around you don't doing. Have to, you don't have to post it. I mean, you I can. know I, you have to know post I want it. to see that shit. <laughs> you at least have to post it to us. He yeah. doesn't look that different. Oh. He just looks like he doesn't have piercing. He's just like a, a kid. Aww. Hi, Joy. Julia, you underestimate how much I care about the backstory and <laughs> extended lore of, of Eugene. Yeah. We okay. love Eugene and we end the stream. Hey. Yeah. Do you like it, Julia? Is it's this your beautiful. Borbo? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. very good. I always think about the babyfication of Eugene. <laughs> He's so cool, but all he does is go, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to be sad and moody, and instead we just made him an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's our son. I love that. But he's so 
so cute like that. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> He's our boy. He's our boy. Well, that's it for us. Yeah, yeah. thanks for watching, everybody. Draw class Friday. Draw Dynamic class poses. Friday with me. With Karina. A new episode tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also the the charity stream went up on Drop yeah. the Extra. Oh yeah, all six hours of it. All six hours. So, and that was a pain in the ass to get up there. Yeah, <laughs> so it was like watch it. it was like forty eight full hours of processing. Go watch Oof. Nathan do some push ups. Yeah, <laughs> so thumbnails it, very funny. <laughs> yeah, go watch that if you'd like to. Please. Uh, that's it. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.